Hi everyone. So I have the pleasure of being here today with Christine. She is a Vital Mind Reset course completer. And well beyond that, she is a classically trained homeopath and I am so excited to speak with her really about the surprising perhaps, um, you know, sort of gains that she achieved through the course. A lot of my focus has been on reframing the mental health experience and mm -hmm. the kinds of um, you know scientific papers that I like to bring to attention really tell a different story than we've been told, right? Namely, that the mind and the body are not this you know sort of strange different compartments, right? So, in fact, there is an interconnectedness. Um, between many different systems, also between sort of the material and etheric uh, elements of our being that we're beginning to appreciate now. So I'd love for you to tell us a little bit about what brought this kind of work to your attention, why it potentially resonated, um, because you're not a, you know, sort of certainly a, not a typical patient, um, and you're also not, you know, a, a typical program completer. And so I'd love to sort of talk about what you got out of it. Sure, sure. Well, I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Um, so as you said, I am a homeopath and I love homeopathy. Um, and I've been following your work for some years now and have been excited every, every time one of your blog posts comes into my inbox because I know that I'm going to learn something, first of all. And I just love that we share this common belief that when we get to the root problem of someone's disease or suffering, um, it can be healed. And so there's lots of different ways to go about that. I certainly don't believe that healing is a straight path or that everyone needs to share the same path by any stretch. But when the Vital Mind Reset program became available, I, I didn't even really know why I needed to do this program because I'm, I'm not a psychiatric patient and I'm, I'm not on medication. But something in my soul just screamed, go. And so I... I'm at a point in my life where when that happens, I just listen and I go. And so um, I didn't even know really a ton of what the program was about. I knew a little bit. I knew there was a nutrition piece and I knew that, well, I guess that's really mostly what I knew was the nutrition piece. And so I was just like, okay, let's, let's dive in and go. And um, the truth is that I had been mostly eating the way that your program sets out by and large. I mean, I knew going through the first couple of modules that, you know, the odd ice cream that I enjoyed with my family and the bag of ruffles that got busted open was, they were going to need to go. I knew that, but, but by and large, you know, we had been eating, my family eats pretty much that way. And years ago we had called our home of products that I knew weren't serving. So those weren't the huge bits for me that were new, but the gold, the gold were the meditations. Oh, the meditations. I didn't even know meditation was part of, of the of the program. But that must have been the bit that my soul knew was there. And I'm so grateful because um the the one that has truly become my best friend is the um, the removing the fear of the future meditation. And that, of course, as you know, is the very first one that gets taught in the program. And so I, and I love how you say, you know, not everybody maybe has five minutes, but everybody's got three minutes. And I thought, that's so true. I mean, we all have three minutes. So I diligently set my alarm a little bit earlier and I sat up in bed and I did the meditations and something very, very profound occurred for me. And it was as if the anxiety that I would experience, I do experience some anxiety from time to time, for sure. And um, it was as if that meditation just seemed to melt it away. Um, I could more easily get back into my body. I could connect with my breath. I could be reminded that all is well, I am safe, life is okay, and it just started to trickle out into my life in so many ways, and as 
I, I am going to say, I'm sure that you know, when, when we are balanced and we live with other people, there's a bit of a ripple effect that happens. And because we're all connected and we're all one, you know, when I'm feeling good, others are around and vice versa. And um, another side benefit, which, you know, I don't, I know doesn't always get a lot of airtime, but I'm all about the bowel movement. So, <laughs> and I know my poor children, if they ever watch this, they're going to, you know, they're going to be horrified. But, you know, there's a lot of poop talk that goes on around my house because it's so important. It's so important. And um, so one of the other things that I noticed as a result of the daily meditations was uh, you and I were joking about this earlier, but like I've become like this gold medal pooper. And, um, so great. you know, I know probably TMI for a lot of people, but it it's so like it's so great. It's so great. And as I said, I hadn't really changed a lot of other stuff. I, I mean, I had changed, I cleaned up my eating a little bit, but I don't know if the degree to which I had cleaned up my eating really should have resulted in the increased gold medal status of what was going on in a GI standpoint. <laughs> you so, so, so I love it. No, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, Truly, it's the, it's the most um, powerful, you know, sort of testament to what science is showing us, right? Which is that this gut brain bidirectionality is real, right? So obviously, it's it's almost easy, right, to focus on nutrition as a way to impact the rest of your system, whether it's your immune system, endocrine system, or your your neuronal function, sort of sort of the gut to the brain direction to many holistic folks makes a lot of sense. But I think it's hard for a lot of us um, to really, really believe that from, you know, the, the stress response to the gut is also a direction, right? Even though Absolutely. we know that because if, you, if you've ever been, you know, had, you know, performance anxiety or something, you know, you could have diarrhea. We know that it's true, but do we really yes. think we can heal our gut through meditation? You know, I know that I was very skeptical for a long time. And so you're, you know, you're living proof that that it's such a powerful top down intervention and also proof that three minutes. I mean, this is obviously why I am a Kundalini Yoga zealot, right? Because it's three minutes of an investment. Obviously, we are accessing an ancient technology that has survived thousands of years for a reason. You know, I like to joke that probably we're not going to be prescribing Prozac and doing open heart surgery in 7,000 years, right? So yeah. for it to have survived, to make it into our hands in 2017, obviously, you know, this is a powerful intervention and, and just three minutes a day. I like to think, and I don't know if you would agree, that, that it's the daily commitment, maybe even more than, than what is going on in that daily commitment. It's the daily commitment that sends your entire system a signal of safety because you can pause every single day, even if it's for that short bit of time, you know, that maybe that's why you've enjoyed these, you know, sort of dividends. Well, and when it's only three minutes, I mean, there were days when I was doing this three and four and five times a day. So it's not like it's this enormous commitment of time or it's not like you have to be in any particular place or you need particular equipment. I mean, I could do it while I was waiting for my daughter in my van while she had her singing lesson. I could go upstairs to my bedroom and do it for three minutes. I could do it in the forest. I spend a lot of time um, in the forest. That's another place where I, where I gain deep, deep connection to myself and all that is and I have a dog who gets impatient if he doesn't get his, his walk to the forest every day. So it didn't matter where I was. Those three minutes were doable. And, um, and they're accessible for anyone and everyone. That's the beautiful thing. Anybody can do this. And it's, it's truly just breathing. And I don't know, I mean, that hand posture for me, it's, I love the way you say that it sends signals of safety to the body and the soul and the mind. And for me, that has been so true. So true. And, you know, ultimately maybe what we get to enjoy when we do commit to that is just a sense of being more ourselves, right? So, so you're already on the path, you know, you're, you're accessing, you know, deep 
levels of healing wisdom already. But perhaps mm -hmm. to just consistently send that signal allows you to feel more free to be you, you know, just to manifest you and get out of your own way, you know, sort of a thing. Yes. It's beautiful. And ultimately, that's why we're here. It's to, to be our fullest selves and to tap into why we're here and to connect with our purpose here and how are we here to serve and what do we want to do? How do we want to be a spark here on the planet? And it's I think when we can do that, it's beautiful. Absolutely. And listen, if you have a perfect poop while you're doing it every day, <laughs> even... <laughs> better i'm telling you yeah. that was my that was literally my aha moment early on in my sort of hashimoto's journey because i didn't know as a woman you know what was i 30 or so at the time that you know pooping once every two weeks wasn't normal i had no idea I never thought about it i was so unconscious of my body it wasn't even a consideration and so when yeah. i you know sort of engaged dietary change which was my first point of entry and everything changed and all of my sort of like inner workings came into alignment, it was a near religious experience for me because it converted me from conventional medicine, you know, to holistic medicine. So this is powerful, you know, what you're saying. And everyone knows that it's it's primary evidence that your, you know, your your body is healing, you know, when you can yes. engage this, you know, elimination in a healthful way. So I just love, yes. I love your story. I love your energy. And I'm so oh, grateful you. that you have, you know, sort of the, the courage and wherewithal to, to step up and talk about it because I think it is important um, to, to reframe healing as this web-like experience. And, and when you make significant progress from a top-down level, it's going to reverberate not only all throughout yourself, but like you said, all throughout the rest of your life. So I want to thank you so much uh, for sharing and I'll see you in the group. Absolutely. My pleasure. Take care, Kelly. Bye.